Attention all boomerites. Listen, I did it. There's a Muppet on the loose. Please use extreme caution when watching this video. Hello there, Boomerizzles. What's going on? How are we doing today? All right, we got Queen Boomer here. Hi. With her uh, wet hair. Yeah, I'm fresh out the shower, so I apologize for my appearance. I literally hopped out. Brian's like, we're making a video. Yeah. We had a busy couple days, but uh, I want to get one reaction done before um, we get into another busy day. Yeah. So, and it's been uh, like over a week since we've done a peep show. Um, I've been doing most of them on my like own, it. but uh, you got to get one in here. Um, we're not neglecting peep show. So, for those of you who think we're neglecting certain shows, we don't do that. No. We just uh, do what we can when we can. Um, I had an interesting question on my last Peep Show reaction. What? So I'll pose it to you. Okay. Who would you rather have as a friend? Mark or Jeremy? Mark. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. I'm too. On the community... I got too many responsibilities <laughs> for Jeremy. Yeah. On the community post, I put a third option, which was neither one of these Muppets. Yeah. And that got the most votes. That got the most <laughs> Both these guys are terrible. No, I feel like but, you gotta pick one. But I feel like Mark, like at least Mark is uh, financially adult. responsible. Yeah. And he, uh, he's much less likely to betray you. Yeah. So that was my reasoning for it. We did get some for Jeremy though. Oh yeah. And we had a lot of write-ins for Super Hans. So that was cool. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Which I kind of agree with. I was like, man, I should have I thrown Super Hans in there. I think it matters. Because I'd like... probably pick Super Hans. Oh my gosh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I, think it, I think it matters what time in my life I'm in, too. Am I trying to party or, you know? That's true. What am I doing? That, and some people said that. Yeah. Yeah, if you're really trying to have like a fun if, time. If I was like back in college or something, maybe Jeremy. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? But uh, anyway, thank you for the feedback on that because that was. Uh... <laughs> That was a lot of fun reading the comments about the uh, the rationale on who you would choose between yeah. the two. But uh, for the ones that said write in Super Hans, I agree. I, if I <laughs> threw Super Hans in there, I'd probably pick Super Hans. <coughs> but uh, anyway, we're going to get into the reaction. So remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you want. And we'll see you in there. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Another hard day, eh, Jez? Watching kids TV and eating kids cereal. Oh, right. What should I be having? Gentleman's relish with olives. Anyway, crunching out cornflakes are just frosties for wankers. Yeah, well, frosties are just cornflakes for people who can't face reality. Anything from so? She's been very, very busy. Far too busy for post. Don't think she'll actually be coming down over the weekend. She, she wants to. It's just there's this thing. That sounds important. What am I going to do, Jez? feels like she's slipping through my fingers. Have you told her you love her? Are you kidding? That's like firing first in a duel. If you miss, you're fucked. No, no, <laughs> mate. Saying it's I love her puts you in the driving seat. Sometimes I tell them I love them early on yeah. on a first date just to get things off to a good start. Doesn't that devalue it a bit? No, maybe a bit. Who cares? It works. Aren't you going to open your post? What? No, it's boring. You may have won this. You may owe us that. Who cares? Jeremy, that one's on Her Majesty's service, for God's sake. Oh, sure. It's on Her Majesty's service, delivered by the Royal Mail. Probably an invitation to one of Princess Anne's shepherd's pie and dogging parties. Mm -hmm. See, now they want me to do jury service. Jury service? You've been called up for jury service? Can't believe they'd choose you. Must be some kind of mistake. Why shouldn't I do jury service? Well, because you're critical faculty. I'm not being rude. That's actually pretty cool, uh, if that's true, that you guys, like, if you ever get uh, mail for uh, jury duty, is it on, on our majesty's service, or now it would be on his ma oh, majesty's yeah. service. That's so weird that he's a king now. I know. It's just weird to me. It still doesn't feel real that Queen Elizabeth is gone. I know. It's, uh, it's very strange, because it's like, uh, even as Americans... Because, like, she was always the head of state over there. Yeah. But it's just, yeah, I'm so used to hearing, like, Her Majesty and the Queen. I'm not used to hearing the yeah. Queen, you know. Yeah. I saw some comments asking me if I was going to cover the uh, coronation of King Charles, but uh, I, I worked 
I had worked that day for like 12 hours, so there was no way I was going to be able to do that. Um, but I'd like to, I would have liked to check it out because that hasn't happened in so long. An actual coronation. Yeah. You know, the only coronation footage I saw was from like the old Queen Elizabeth yeah. footage from all that time ago, which at this point was like 70 years ago. I think oh, it was yeah, something right. like that. It was it was so long ago. That's insane. Yeah. Ooh. But, you know, even though we don't have a king here, like I'd I'd find it interesting. I just didn't have time to check it out or anything. But let us know if like you get like jury duty and it actually says like on his majesty's service. Over I'm there. upset that you've gotten jury duty like twice being a Florida resident. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, they never actually like call my number, so. I've never gotten jury duty and i've been a florida resident <clears throat> my entire life really yeah when i was in maryland i used to get a notification like two or three times a year for jury duty but i never got picked yeah no nope, i've never gotten one yeah but you'd be the first to admit reason. that you're not a very logical thinker no i wouldn't you still don't properly understand what happens in oceans 11 do you it's a complicated film it really isn't Anyway, I'd probably find jury service pretty simple, because whoever it is, I'll just let them off. Jeremy, don't try and upset me. It's probably some young black kid who's been accused of stealing a bun, and I'm going to set a him bun? free. Don't you think you should wait till you hear the details? That's what they want you to do, hear the details and confuse you. I'm definitely going to acquit. So listen up, guys. I'm looking to shake up the department, and I want you two to be my enforcers. Hmm? My Cheech and Chong. My Skinner and Badil. You'll be the iron fists inside my velvet glove. The spiky balls on the end of my stick. Yeah? Nice, yes. Now, remind me, dude. which one of you two is balling Sophie right now? Uh, he is. Well, theoretically. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Patrick tells me she's not getting on all that well in Bristol. Really? If she gets fired and everything goes wrong, I'll be there to pick up the pieces. She's been slacking off, coming in late. Apparently, she called Colin Cooper a dickhead. <laughs> well, he is a dickhead. Yeah, well, the point is someone's got to talk to her. Mark, maybe you could have a word. Get her to clean up her act. Unofficial verbal warning. Is that cool? Oh, okay, sure. Bollocks. Could be a difficult call. <laughs> or might be good. Tell her I love her, then before it gets too soppy, hit her with the disciplinary matters. Oh my gosh, yes. imagine that phone so, call. Uh, hey babe, I love you. You need to get your shit together at work. Yeah. Stay in court. Tell me everything. Mark, I've taken a solemn oath. I know that doesn't mean a lot to you, but I take it quite seriously. I could get us a fried yeah, chicken okay. bucket for dinner and from a properly franchised outlet, not the one that gave you that fever. It's credit card fraud, and it's a woman, six counts, four in the Nesquip area, two in Cosford. Credit card fraud? Nesquip? A woman? Oh, my God, this is incredible. Oh, sure, it sounds incredible for the first three hours. God, it's boring. Are you guilty? Blah, blah, blah. But it's a joke. She's obviously guilty. Why? Has she taken the stand? What's her alibi? She's the guilty type. She looks shifty. Shifty? Yeah, you know, the type. Dressed up all nice for court, but wouldn't look out of place with a can of strong lager and an incredibly cheap fag in her mouth. I thought you were going to acquit. She's white. Plus, I was talking to another jury bloke, and he thinks the same. I think we're all thinking the same, basically. You know, no smoke without fire. No smoke without fire? Is that what a thousand years of the English judicial system comes down to? No smoke without fire? Mark, relax. She's going down. And if she didn't do it, so what? She's the type. She'd probably just do something else. Ah, soup. Lovely hug in a mug. All I need now is a kiss in a tube, a wank in a packet. Better call <laughs> Sophie. Or maybe just before, play solitaire for three or four hours. Shit, it's her. Hello, Sophie? Hi, Mark. Listen, good news. I'm coming down tonight. Are you? Yeah. Hang out. I miss you. Of course. I, I miss you too. Although, tonight, you, you do know it's Thursday. Oh, yeah. I'll just pull a sickie in the morning. Oh, OK. Johnson's right. She's dangerously out of control. So I'll come over to yours about seven-ish. Oh, this is going to be great. Brilliant. Bye. Shit. Bottled it. Tell her tonight after chicken and wine and Sarah Lee. Maybe I could get some chocolate flavour condoms. I might be more relaxed if we both regarded my penis as a novelty item. Oh, that jury. Ew. So boring. Why couldn't I get something interesting like a cat strangling or a murder case that goes right to the heart of government? Oh, my God, it's her. The defendant. Do I know you? God, you're on the jury, aren't you? 
Uh, yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah, I am a bit. Sorry. Wow, this is weird. Yup. I probably shouldn't. Um, well, I shouldn't probably. To be honest, it's nice to get away from the jury. They're so boring. All they want to talk about is the case. Yeah? What they're saying about it then? Shit. Oh, just, uh, we all think you're innocent. Really? That's what you're not allowed to do this. I know. You're not allowed to do this. No. It's probably the same over there. <laughs> but imagine yeah. saying that to, well, we all think you're innocent. Yeah. <laughs> and then they go guilty. <laughs> yeah. Wicked? Just sugar the pill a bit. I know we probably shouldn't do this, but what's your name? Jeremy. Pleased to meet you. I'm Carla. Tell you what, though, I'll be glad when this is all over. Those wooden chairs are killing my back. Oh, God, tell me about it. That's why I sit in the corner, because you can sort of lean against the wall, and then if it gets a bit boring, you can, you know, it's just better. What about that judge, the way? Oh, God, yeah. He's so judgmental. I rule this, I rule that. Hey, that would be a good name for him. Judgmental. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tell you what. I plead guilty to wanting a mochaccino. Objection! Overruled! This isn't wrong, <laughs> just illegal. Like drink driving. <laughs> imagine if, uh, imagine if he ends up boning her. I know, I was just thinking, like, they're gonna end up hooking up before uh, the jury comes out, and then it's gonna be like, oh my thing. god. You'd have thought you could have come up with a better alibi than that. Oh, I'm the foreman, I'm the foreman. Only I get to talk to the judge. Fuck you. Do you want to go for a drink later, Carla? Jesus, this just gets better and better. So, should we take a vote? All those who think she's guilty raise a hand? They can't send her down, they don't know her. I don't know her. But I do fancy her. Uh, yeah, I just don't think she is that guilty. I mean, I think there is a reasonable doubt. Yeah. I'm in 12 angry men. I'm the only one who's not angry. I'm horny. That's much nicer. Oh my god! <laughs> that is not a good reason. Oh man, this is uh so far this seems like one of the f one of the funniest plot lines to me. Yeah. He's, he only wants her off the hook because he wants to bang her. Oh my god. Imagine <laughs> they'd be like, what's your, what's your reason? Well, I uh, want to have relations with this woman, so she can't be guilty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wild shit, man. Oh, what a night. I feel like we'll this eat has to have been a real scenario. And I'll make out I think Colin Cooper's a dickhead, too. <sighs> when actually he's doing bloody good work with a difficult team and some very testing targets. <laughs> 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 What's funny? Oh, nothing. Doesn't matter. Is it something to do with the case? Uh, yeah, it is. Kind of. Yeah? <laughs> What's going on? It's really... Honestly, it's nothing. Did the uncle show up? They haven't found the missing security tapes from Ryman's. No, no. It's nothing like that. Anyway, that doesn't matter anymore because she's definitely innocent. Is she? Why? What came out? What happened? No, no nothing came out. It's just... I got to know her a bit, and it's obvious she wouldn't do something like that. You got to know her a bit? Yeah. We bumped into each other. We've been texting. We're going to go out for a drink. For God's sake, Jeremy, you're not supposed to speak to the defendant. It's against the law. The only seat in the cafe was next to her. What was I supposed to do? Blank her? That's against the law. The law of social niceness. Jeremy, you've got to break this off. You've got to tell her to stop texting you and that you can't meet up for a drink. Oh, right. So suddenly, hmm? I can't go out drinking with the defendant. Well, why not? Well, I suppose people might think it would make you less impartial if you're trying to bone the woman you're meant to be judging. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is typical. Jeremy can't be trusted to judge the woman he's sleeping with, but... But Tony Blair can, yeah? Jez is contempt of court. Look, Mark, I'm a musician, in case you'd forgotten. Yeah? I answer to a higher law. The law of, if it feels good, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! It. it wasn't. It wasn't even like that funny. It was just the he was so into. So it. yeah, he's just like he got passionate, the emotions passionately and saying it like he that. If this. it feels good, do it. He believes this. This is his life motto. If oh it feels god, good, do it. Oh, that was that was 
fantastic. Or isn't it? What's that? Gaddafi's law? It's the musician's law. <laughs> Colonel Gaddafi could not lay down a base hook mark. That should be clear, even to you. God. Sophie! The Sophster! Sophistry! The Sophistry. Sophistry. Soph! Great to... See you. Hi, Mark. So good to see you. How are you, you big lovely? This is lovely Dom. Hiya. Uh, hi, Dom. R really great to meet you. Oh, great, Dom. And I suppose Dom's going to have sex with Sophie while I film it on my camera phone. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's me. Sorry, I'm really going to have to take it. Nice scarf. Hi. Isn't he fab? He's gay. He's obviously gay. <laughs> my God, I actually have gaydar. <laughs> is he going? I hope he's going. Shutting the door might be a bit aggressive if he's not. So, how are you? Oh, good, thanks. You look great. Thanks. Do you like my hair? Shaylee did it. She works in the juice bar with Dom, and she does Indian head massage too. God, it's orgasmic. Juice bar, massage, orgasm. Oh, yeah, That's everything I stand a against. Little different from the last hey, time I've seen her. He's with Jude and beautiful Laura. They want to meet up for cocktails at the Lava Lounge. What do you think? Oh, I don't know, Mark. Oh, you'd love Ollie. He's such a great laugh. Uh, well, well, that sounds great. It's, it's just I've, I've made chicken. I've, I've got wine. I've got DVDs. Ocean's Twelve and Meet the Fockers. Right. Uh, we did see those at the cinema. Yeah, well, it's sort of like a reminiscent package. Plus there's <laughs> commentaries, outtakes, bloopers. Oh, just come for one cocktail. Ollie freaked out when I told him you were here. Oh, come on, he loves you, Soph. He'll literally puke if you don't come. What do you think, Mark? It'd be fun. Uh, d well, I, I, I guess I'd hate to be responsible for someone actually throwing up, so... <laughs> yeah, great. Well, hey! <laughs> you win this one, Sophie, but I will have my revenge. All Sunday at the National Maritime Museum. One cocktail. That was the arrangement. One cocktail, then home. Not four cocktails, and off to a gay club. Oh, Carla says uh, she's sorry she couldn't make it for a drink, but she'll meet us here instead. Great. Trapped all night. This is, this is gonna be... Oh, because he's having the girl meet her, him there. Yeah, the but I, I can only imagine the, uh, the dialogue that's gonna come out of Mark's mouth. Poor Mark, though. He just hasn't seen his girlfriend in, like, I don't know how long. Yeah. I kind of feel bad. But I don't think it's going to matter. I'm I'm more thinking about what Mark's going to be saying to this... Uh, oh, yeah, when he finds to out. To this defendant you that Jeremy's trying to, trying to hook up with. Cocktail, then home. Not four cocktails, and off to a gay club. Oh, Carla says uh, she's sorry she couldn't make it for a drink, but she'll meet us here instead. Great. Trapped all night with the homos and the criminals. Like prison, but without even the privacy of my own cell. Oh, Mark, is the bouncer asked to say you're gay? What? You've been here before, mate. You're gay, pal. Lie. Say yes. Say yes. No. No, I, I, I'm not. God. Sorry. I, I mean, I did once have this thing with a... I had these feelings, but it was complicated. It was more of a sort of atmosphere. Nothing ever really... I mean, sexuality is a sort of <laughs> He's a spectrum, let him in. isn't it? Rather than a, a black and... Go on. Fuck off. In you go. Oh, thanks. Great. There are a lot of gay guys in there tonight. Great. Brilliant. Wow. God, how did I end up here? And will I ever be allowed to leave? Just got to ride the waves of alienation and self-loathing. You having a good time? Oh, yeah, wicked. So how did you guys meet? Oh, that's quite funny, actually. It was at a trial. Oh, right, are you a lawyer? As a matter of fact, I'm the defendant. And I'm on the jury. And the funniest part is the trial isn't even over yet. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so weird. And apparently I'm just a stick in the mud for thinking they're breaking the law is anything other than one of those brilliant urban jokes. Oh, Jez, if, if I, I need the bomb, <laughs> this place, it, its official classification is gay-friendly, yeah? Yeah, gay, gay-friendly. Does that mean friendly gays or, or friendly to the gays? Because, to be honest, friendly gays sound not worse, but, you know... Oh, Mark, what? You think you're irresistible? People... men have looked at me. Yeah, well, just don't go over into that corner, because that's where the guys who like straight-acting tubby homophobes hang out. <laughs> Another drink, everybody? Hey! hey. It's, um, that isn't, 
Is that your name? Oh, yeah. It's such a marriage. A bit complicated. Oh, right. <laughs> wow. Wow. Done, done, done. What's Jeremy going to do? I know what he's going to do. It depends. Tell. It depends if she goes home with him or not tonight. Oh. The old uh, magic card. Well, you might think that, but I couldn't possibly comment. God, she's amazing. She sees something she wants and she takes it. None of the, is this mine or is this someone else's crap. She probably has men queuing up. You know what, Carla? I think I love you. You what? Are you hardly know me? So what? I'm a musician. I think on my feet. I speak with my heart. Yep, jailhouse rock. I've got four brown bears and a couple of foghorn leghorns. Mark, are you interested? Um... Well, well, I'm not really sure I... Look, I know it's not really your kind of thing, but that's what I thought before I did it, and it's really good fun. I've done it a few times now, it's great. I, is there not even a slim chance that I might die? Mark, I had an amazing <laughs> yeah. time. You'll love it. I want what you to love it. it. I don't It'll know. It'll be a special night. It's a foghorn leghorn. Yes. <laughs> foghorn. <laughs> what is a foghorn leghorn? Isn't that the chicken? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could do that voice. The far, he's far, like, far. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, boy, I'll tell you what. May I remind you? Yeah, I, I can't, I can't do it. I just like that part in Space Jam when uh, one guy blows the fire at him. And yeah. He's like, did you order regular or extra crispy? <laughs> <laughs> That's who Foghorn Lakehorn is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, take a foghorn. They've got a nice floaty launch with a soft, crunchy landing. So, a candle stuck in a wine bottle apparently doesn't cut it anymore. Now for a special night, you have to have Class A drugs and fisting. It looks like he... I don't know. It's hard to tell. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I'm not doing any drugs She's named after of cartoon for chicken. Taking a Neither am I. a pill of drugs, but probably if I'd fought at Goose I Green, she would want to know. I'd be like, no. Have such an amazing night. You are going to have an amazing night. I am going to have a perfectly ordinary night, right under your stupid nose. Who'd have thought it, eh? You and me out clubbing, you off your tits. I can genuinely see us eventually reminiscing about this. Right, yeah, Jess, listen. The, the thing is, I, I didn't actually pop my pill. I'm pretending. In fact, mate, I could do with a few pointers on how to be a druggie. Oh, Mark, why didn't you bang one? Because I don't want to wake up dribbling in a phone box with a trucker's penis in my ear. Mark, that is so not the ears. <laughs> is that what happens when you a do trucker's a leg horn? Mm, drugs are bad, okay? Drugs are bad. Drugs They're really are bad. bad. So don't do drugs, okay? You pointers on how to be a druggie. Oh, Mark, why didn't you bang one? Because I don't want to wake up dribbling in a phone box with a trucker's penis in my ear. Mark, that is so not the E experience. You're much more likely yeah. to wake up with depression and a sense of worthlessness. But tonight, all that crap you talk when you're off your noggin, I never really listen. What do you prattle on about? And, and how should I say I'm feeling? Okay, look, like when you're coming up, it's kind of... <laughs> yeah, and then you're just... I mean, everything you do is just kind of... Yeah, and then when you're going down, you sort of just talk about how we're all the same, but there are these systems that keep us apart and stuff. Okay, thanks. Hey, Mark, how are you doing? Are you feeling it yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling... Really, Shaggy water? <laughs> no, 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 it, it's, it's good. Everything's gone sort of bubbly. It, it's like I'm trapped inside a, a giant arrow. I know exactly what you mean. And, and do you know what? I, I also think I might be getting the, the famous munchies. Really? On an E? I'll get you some water. I'll tell you what, me and you, we've got a connection, haven't we? Can you feel it? We're on the same wavelength, yeah? Oh, right. Yeah. Listen to the music, man. <laughs> this guy's a genius. He's bringing it up. He's bringing it up. Oh, he's taking it down. He's taking it down. He's taking it up. Take, taking it up. Taking it up. Taking it up. Taking it down. Taking it down. Taking it down. I've met guys like this. Have you? Yeah. Like, yeah, man, you just gotta feel it. We're on the same wavelength. Yeah, man. You feeling what I'm feeling, man?
I went to a um, rave. And I go, yeah, be right back. And I go take a shit. I went to a rave. And like, I'm not just saying this because I'm on YouTube, but I don't do drugs. Never have. They scare me. And um, everyone there was doing. Yeah, I've been to a rave sober horn, also. Horn. Yeah. And like, this girl came up to me and like this guy, she thought we were best friends. And I've never met her. And she's like, are you feeling it, sweetheart? <laughs> I'm like... Yeah, like, and then she started massaging my head. <laughs> she was like, "This is great," and I was like, "It actually was." I was like, "Yeah, this is fantastic." Oh and Chelsea's my god! Like, who's your friend? I'm like, I don't know, it's Christina. She's giving me a head massage. That's wild. But then I learned later that if you are doing foghorn leghorn and someone gives you a head massage, it's supposed to feel like. Amazing. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I was just like, this is you like had massages anyway. Yeah, so. I do. So I was like, you're fine. Like, yeah, I was. I like was stomping a leg. I'm like, this is so nice. Wow. <laughs> this guy is literally a moron. You're on it, man. <laughs> We're on it. We're brothers. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh God, the sweaty grip of the moron. <laughs> You can feel it. You can feel it, can't you? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I, I can still feel it. Oh, God, I'm so tired. How did my house become a rave? This is probably how a squat starts. They'll never leave, and eventually they'll brick me up in my room, and ownership will pass to them because a high court judge will rule me to be officially not living life to the max. So, <laughs> it, it's lovely, your incessant rubbing of my back, but it is starting to chafe. <laughs> <laughs> the wine, that wine's been. Mark, are you okay? You're not having a bad one. Shit, too rational. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. I just, I love being down here on, on the carpet. The, the stain. Look, look at the pattern it's making as it soaks into my genuine pure wool carpet. Do you think I should go and get me stuff out? What? Of she wants to talk normally after what we just did. I mean, I like edgy sex, but where was the humanity? Hey. Check out the easy pickings. Yeah? Don't you think... We could blow this together, yeah? Oh, my I, God. Yeah, do you think... I mean... <coughs> what about him? He's probably a banker on 300k. Yeah. I think he actually works in a juice bar. Whatever. So, um, about the case, um, just between ours, the credit cards, that... That was you, was it? No, Jess, that's a funny thing. I wasn't even around for those. I was in Lincoln raking in a bit on a housing benefit scam. <laughs> Brilliant. Ooh, nasty scar. Yeah, bit of a bitch fight one night in Sunderland. Still, you want to see the other girl? Because she can't see you, eh? Not now! <laughs> oh, Jesus, uh, girl's crazy. She is wild. She is crazy. Feisty one, she is. But a not nice feisty one. No. Brilliant. Oh, fuck. This is getting a bit too real. Just keep kissing. If we're kissing, she can't say scary stuff. <laughs> Look at these dropouts. They think they're having fun. If we were agricultural workers, the day would already be half gone. Are you all right, Sophie? I don't know. The room's going a bit spinny, and I think I think I might um. I've got some sick. Can you get me out of here, Mark? Okay, okay. What what you need is some peace and quiet and, and some rest and and a cup of tea and some toast with peanut butter. Oh, that sounds nice. Hey, Soph, where are you going? We're going to have a spleef. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> She's going to bed. She doesn't want any more of your drugs. <laughs> you just have a nice lie down there, Soph. I'll, I'll bring the tea and toast through in a minute, OK? Listen, you want to... Again? Already? Yeah, I'm in the mood for celebrating. And it'll be a few hours, and I'm going to be free as a bird. Oh, no. She's going to go free and come and live here, and we'll have to do horrible sex and go carjacking together. <laughs> right, OK, that's it. Turn the music down. You can stop smoking your drugs. I'm making tea and toast for Sophie. I'm putting on Radio 4. Everything's normal. I'm not really high on drugs, so you can stop talking your nonsense on my time. Well, what's the problem, man? Can't we just chill? Uh... No, you can't. You've been chilling long enough. This is reality calling. But, but what about <laughs> you and me? The bum? There is no bond. You're not Aww. a bad person, but I'm afraid to say you are a moron. 
Now, pull your socks up and get your shoes on. Come on, all of you. Oh, man. And listen, while we're at it, there are systems for a reason in this world. Economic stability, interest rates, growth. It's not all a conspiracy to keep you in little boxes, all right? It's only the miracle of consumer capitalism that means you're not lying in your own shit, dying at 43 with rotten teeth. And a little pill with a chicken on it is not going to change that. Now, come on. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was an awesome rant. That was. That was, that was an rant. awesome rant. <laughs> I know some people need to hear that rant. Uh, uh, he was such a dick about it, but... I mean, I it kind of understandably, it's his house, and he's yeah. got all these strangers over there. But, you know, I know they were just trying to have a good time. Bollocks. She's going to go free. Free to come round and cut me from ear to ear unless I do her evil doings with her. So, um, so hmm. crazy, maybe yeah. if we go over the arguments one last time, then see if one of us will change our minds. Why bother? We're never going to agree. She's going to get off. Well, no, actually, because the judges will just accept a majority verdict. So if just a couple of you all will consider joining us, then we can convict. Shit. Could I do this? She is technically innocent, but really she's totally guilty. Plus, women's prison. It's probably like one long hen night. Well, actually, um, I was thinking, I've had uh, quite a big think about everything, and um, I, I think I've changed my mind. Why? The security footage? Partially. But basically, I, I accidentally got talking to her in a club, and I know I shouldn't have, but it turns out she does this sort of thing all the time. She's a fraudster. No, we can't admit this. That's grounds for a mistrial. OK, sure. If you want, say it's a mistrial. Go crying to Daddy. <laughs> but look, maybe I didn't play by the rules this time. Maybe I am a bit of a, a maverick. But I think I've got this case pretty much solved. And yes, I can apologise for how I've done that, but I could never apologise for telling the truth. And the truth is that this woman is evil. And if we let her go today, we are going to be responsible for whatever she does. So help me God and let the Lord be my witness. <laughs> I've never seen him so passionate. Oh, that's like, great. Please don't let this crazy lady come live in my house. <laughs> yeah. You think that's his main motivation right yeah. now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I buy it. Um, let's just say guilty. Yeah, I, I'm with him. Oh, yeah. Justice is done. Not actual justice, but what I wanted to happen, which is basically the same thing. God, my head feels like a coconut someone scraped out from the inside. Shit. Yeah, I know how you feel. That, like a big sort of coconut with, with a brain inside it. Oh, whoops. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit of... Hello? Mark, this is Alan. I just spoke to Colin Cooper. He's pissing blood. Apparently Sophie's pulled another sickie. It's getting out of hand, Mark. Call her. Talk to her. Uh -oh. Do what you need to do. She's right on the bloody precipice. OK. Come on, Mark. Do it. Your sugar. Your do Trump, it for Alan. Your rommel. It's been really great seeing you. And thanks for coming to the club and everything. I know it's not really your thing, so I just want you to know I really appreciate it. Uh, I... Thanks. Uh, so, um, before you go, that there's something I, I need to say. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just. Well, you you've really got to pull your socks up at work. What? You've got to stop pulling sickies and screwing around. Sophie Johnson says. Oh, Mark! What the fuck? My head's in pieces. I don't need this. No, 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 Sophie, it's just if, if, if you want to be a major player, you, you, you've got to apply yourself more and be more punctual. Hug? We'll laugh about this. Definitely. <clears throat> Unless it kills the relationship stone dead, which it probably will. Aww. <laughs> Poor Mark. Oh, I wanted to see the well, verdict. I wanted yeah, to me see too. them stand up and be like guilty and ever be like And she's like, What? Yeah. And then she goes crazy. Yeah, that that I was hoping to see that as well. Yeah. 
That's like probably the only criticism I have of the episode. Yeah, that was a great episode. I thought it was great. Um, I want because I wanted to see more. You know, it's a good episode when your only criticism is like you want more. When it's more. over, yeah, and you're like, oh. Yeah. So that was that was very well done. Um, I hope we see more of Alan. I love Alan. But, I do too. He's, he's got a uh, great career. And he seems like the only one who's got like a fucking working brain in this yeah. show. I mean, he's a lot of a person, but he has great charisma and he's fun. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy. God, I think that was the best episode that I have seen of Jeremy. Actually. Yeah, I liked him. Not that. saying his decisions were No, but he good. had two speeches that killed you. Yeah. His musician one and the why that lady's guilty. Yeah. And then everyone was just like, all right, you know what? He's right. Let's go. Yeah. And he really won them over. He really did. He won me over. If I was in that jury, I'd be like, yeah, let's, he's right. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's such a wild show with, it's, it's like moral, the show like this, like all the morals go out the window. Yeah. And, uh, and Jesus, I can't believe they made an email called Foghorn Leghorn. I know. With a chicken on it. I was like, what the hell is that? Yeah. That's pretty nuts. Well, we hope you enjoyed the reaction. Uh, that was one of the better Peep Show episodes, yeah, I think. Yeah, that was good. So, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you want. And you guys have a lovely day today. Peace Bye. out, everybody.